Hey everyone, Scorp here, uh, starting a new run of Duels to the Roses. Today is the first episode of what's going to be a tomb deck, uh, mostly going towards the uh, fiend style of tombs, uh, the clown style. Um, so we're actually going to side with Simon and go after Pegasus pretty quick. Um, we also are going to have to spend some time on Rex. So we'll just get through all of this cutscene fodder. Okay, um, so we're just going to start off going right to Rex. Um, so he really shouldn't be able to use Eclipse this time, I hope. Uh, I'm just gonna show the deck. Um, so Reaper of the Cards is the leader. Um, we probably won't be using it much, but we will use it as a leader. Um, this is only nice for fusing with Cyberstein, um, but we don't have a Cyberstein, so it don't matter. Um, we have a Dream Clown, that's super nice. Um, what else do we have in here? Solitude, not bad. Um, Reaper of the Cards, that'll be great for leveling Reaper of the Cards. Um, Double Cross Clown. Um, so that's good. We have a couple, I mean, four um, reptiles. Okay, we can work with this. Um, so we have several fusions for uh, yeah, we can make Soul Hunter. Pretty consistently. Um, we can't go our top end's pretty bad, but as long as we play kind of quick, we might be able to get there. Um, the main problem though is this field is not great for going really quick. Field's actually set up so that we have to go slow. Uh, oh, we have a clown zombie too. Perfect. Um, so we're just gonna start off, we're gonna try to get around to him. It's gonna take a while. Um, we'll move up to House of Adhesive Tape, because the House of Adhesive Tape can sometimes just kill things. Um, I don't know why some cards are in this deck. Um, I mean, I guess I can... I don't really want to use that. Um, I, I could make a, an Armored Zombie. I mean, a 1500 instead of a 1350 is kind of an improvement. Oh, man. Why does this card exist? Why isn't that the opponent's card? Hain's not a very good card. I should have probably summoned on top of the Hain Hain. Um, oh, hey, we have a copycat. I don't know what we want to copy, but we have a copycat. Um hand continues to disappoint. Where are my reptiles? Um... Is 
some reason I don't believe that a rock is going to be fusing well in this deck. Oh hey, finally. Um, we're just gonna get rid of the Reaper. Reaper the cards is not very useful. Twenty five hundred is about as much as we're gonna get out of this deck, so hopefully that's not a Brachioratus. We probably lost. Especially since I believe he equipped, so, like... Um, not great. Dream Clown, so we technically have a chance. Because I can Dream Clown one of these creatures. Yeah, I was kind of afraid of that. stuck here. Let's see. Let me just get rid of these. <sighs> this copycat's pretty useless. Yeah, him getting a Sebex blessing off is kind of unfortunate. Um, and I didn't draw a single reptile. Yep, this game's over. Um, I am just gonna try to go over and get the Sinister Serpent if I can. I probably can't, because he's going to be in my way here. Um. Hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's that's a that's a game over. Okay. Well, um there goes the idea of just going right after Rex. Um it's probably doable, um uh, but we might as well just make our deck stronger. So we'll go ahead and make our deck stronger. Doesn't make it take too much to make our deck stronger, so. Uh, we'll start off with some card duplication. Um, so first I'll just, um, well actually first we're going to make Reaper of the Cards a Secretary of Defense so that we can just use that as our leader. Um, so we can actually have a Fiend leader that's level five. We can also use Neck Hunter, but I, don't really like this card um, any more than I like Reaper of the Cards. Um, but yeah, I mean, our deck has four useless traps in it. Um, Monster Recovery is useless. Uh, Curse Breaker is great. 
Dark Energy is a pretty bad equip. Um, we have Copycat, which is amazing. Um, only problem is uh, you need your opponent to play something good, and unfortunately, Rex and Weevil don't play good spells or traps. Um, I don't know what these are doing in here. Um, Bean Soldier can make Pumpkin, so that's always an option. Um, but we've got a bunch of clowns, we got some reptiles. Let's make our deck have a couple more of these, so. We'll start off here. Um, and I'm gonna speed through the setup here. Uh, I, of course, forgot to, um, change the summoning power. Uh, well, technically, two alligator is, like, just slightly better than Crocodilus. I don't like either of them. Um, we just kind of need rid of... Um, I want to duplicate clowns. So. Um, just this. That, and we are also going to do the case. Uh, none of those. Um, I'm going to uh, also level Reaper of the Cards here, so. Um, I am fairly certain that we cannot duplicate. Uh, I'm just making sure there's nothing else in my deck that I want to duplicate here. Um, can't duplicate any of these, so... And can't do it. Okay, this is exactly what I want to duplicate. So, um, I'll be back in a bit. Um, I'm going to end up promoting all of these by just passing a whole bunch of turns. Um, and then I will um, come back when I have set them all as deck leaders and grab them in the graveyard. So BRB. Okay, really quick. Um, this did not take long to do. Um, not very long at all. Um, so basically, I just I made a sec def, um all of these cards, uh, Reaper of the Cards, wherever it is, is going to be my deck leader. Could be here. So, um, we got ourselves an extra 500 attack on our fiends, which is nice. Um, we need to get rid of some cards so that I can put in my twin alligators. Um, so I have three soggies, three clown zombies, uh, Oh, Dream Clown probably works the fusion. Yeah. I don't really... I can't duplicate them. Um, and I need to get myself a third Crass Clown, so I'll just go ahead and show that real quick. Um, put that in. So, I'll show what I've been doing real quick. Because uh, I might as well. So that if you guys want to, you can do this yourself. Um, nothing very special here save state here so that you can make sure that you get um grass clown got it um go for the three in a row because you can get yourself a cycle puppet that you're never going to use congratulations that was actually the first three in a row that i got doing this which not really surprising 
but now I have an extra crass clown. So we'll just get rid of, I don't know, wood clown. Um, I'd much rather use fiends than any of the other things, so that's what we're working with. Uh, let's see here. I have three tune alligators on the deck. Um, I could go and duplicate Crocodilus and Grappler if I really wanted to. I don't think it's going to be necessary. Uh, but we'll go ahead and do uh, one duel against ourselves. Just to try to maybe duplicate Dark Energy um, is the main goal here. Um, so this is... I'll just pick one of these random fields. This one's pretty decent. Um, we have just playing outside of there. Um, oh, oops. I used the wrong. I didn't change the deck later. Um, <laughs> uh, we'll just throw the clown out. Um, this clown needs to go and deal with whatever if he fusion summons or something. And have it go deal with it. Um, we have plenty of clowns in our hand, so... We have ourselves options. Um, we have drawn... Uh, one fusion for Soul Hunter. Um, I'm sorry, Prisman, but that you're never going to make a cut in the final deck for this. Um, so I'll just do this. Our soul hunter should be stronger than whatever card this is. Oh, he fused an armored zombie. Probably a curse breaker, or it's one of the pretty bad traps that this deck has. He hasn't really played anything that they even want to grab from him. Um, we have way more clowns than we have reptiles, so I'm not really worried about getting rid of clowns. played a tune alligator, which is not something that I really want, um, because I already have four of them. Um, 
Goku Riser, the Grim Reaper. Oh, Darku. No, I can never say his name right. Wood Clown, not great. I'm just gonna have to kill him. Um, he hasn't played really anything that I actually want, so. Another tune alligator that I don't need. Hmm. Well, we're just gonna hope that um, like 3100 is enough to beat Rex. Probably not. But it's better than what we had. As you can see, there's nothing I really wanted in those slots. Uh, since we've already duplicated the fiend clowns that'll actually do the fusions. Um, I'm going to switch out Reaper of the Cards for my deck later real quick before I forget. I'll get rid of this Dark Rabbit. Reaper as a deck leader. Um, I have an extra one in the deck, but that should be okay. Okay, so not the strongest deck that's ever existed. Um, but without equips, it's going to be hard to actually make this deck stronger. Um, besides that, we need a couple reptiles, um, but otherwise, like, we don't really need anything else for the deck. We need probably a Toon World um, and some equips, so we'll uh, see what we can do. Maybe we can beat Rex. Um, if not, we'll just get closer to the five duels for a reincarnation. Um, at minimum, I'm hoping I can go over and get Sinister Serpent. Uh, at minimum, we've got... Got rid of a card, and that's good. Hmm, this card is the one creature that I really don't want. Um, I think I'm just gonna play the backup plan here and. Y'all can hate me for this later. Um, I don't really like doing this with Pumpkin, as it's pretty slow. Um, but hey, we can't lose now. Oh, 
Brachioritis is probably there. Um, I tie Brachioritis right now. Um, so I might as well do the attack since I'm not going to get that to be stronger. Um, and I can just play another one here. Um, my deck can only play five of them, but if I can at least go one for one with the Brachioratus, um, it should be okay. Um, I can apparently play a Mystic Horseman, or, uh, Rabbit Horseman in this deck. Um... Not my favorite thing to play, but... You know, it'll work. Um, I'll play Copycat face down. Um, just in case he were to actually play something that is I'd consider good. Um, I don't think he has anything in this deck that I would consider good. From the spell side of things, but... There's always a chance. Hey, there's a crocodilus. Um, we'll just make one of these just to say we can. It's not a terrible card. It's not good. It's not terrible. I could steal the shift from him. I'm terrified of attacking into a Serpentine Princess. Here. We have a Dream Clown, so we have an answer to it right now. that I want to go get the serpent, the sinister serpent right now. Um, so I basically I'm just gonna let go of all of the pressure that I actually have on him. Um, so I better make that. So we can't really lose because we're we have this pumpkin here. Um, there's no way he can really beat something that's infinite. Although um, he does have paralyzing potion, so he can destroy it or stop it. There's one of those paralyzing potions. Um, 
Um, I can take Paralyzing Potion with uh, the copycat, though. Okay, after all of this, I've got myself my Sinister Serpent, um, this. I wonder if this pump king's actually strong enough to actually be useful yet. I mean, I guess it's probably not, but... I mean, 3500's, like, getting there. For anyone that really likes pumpkin, um, just imagine how much faster it is to get out something this strong. Um, like a magician, uh, like a couple of mystical elves. Um, you can have something till 10,000 attack and defense right now, rather than a couple zombies that just aren't going to get stronger. Um, so, yeah, that's just my view of, of those. Unfortunately, um, it's not the greatest view. Um, he uses Solitude because he's got a good effect. Like this, like this, and... I'll let the pumpkin get to 4,000 before I really use it. Um, it's my backup plan. It's probably going to end up being plan A, but... Oof. If only it could move two spaces at once, that would be wonderful. Um, I want to see what creature he has there. So that. I'm just gonna kind of wait. Um, I should bring Copycat over and use it as a paralyzing potion. Why you don't let your opponent have a bunch of time to get ready. Um, 37 is pretty big. Um, we can just use this on it. Fortunately for him, Eternally Spellbound is pretty good.
Um, we're both almost out of cards, so... Oh, great. I guess my pumpkin is gonna have to get a little stronger. something so that he can't play anymore. Oh, okay. Well, there goes a whole bunch of that thing's power. Um... Um, I can just straight up beat over it. have the strength that I need in my deck. Um, and I haven't drawn a single dark energy, only dark energy in the top 34 cards, which is great. Um, and I'm pretty much just going to end this duel with the Pump King. has like one more creature that is really strong. I'll bring Copycat over for a bit. Again, Pump King's just kind of here. Is my backup. attempt to win this duel without using it, but... At the rate this is going, I'm probably going to end up using it. Um... Oh. Ow. We can probably just finish him with the Pump King at this point. Um, but I do want to make one attempt without it. Um, if I hadn't gone after that Sinister Serpent, I probably would have just ran him over, so. 
And anyways, I kind of have to do this duel a couple more times because um, I'm going to need more reptiles from him. Oh, well, there it goes. <laughs> Okay, well... Um, I'm taking the Paralyzing Potion from his deck. He has at least a couple of them already used. I don't know what that is, but I know it's very powerful. Um, sir. Um. Um, I want to make my 5100 just in case. Oh my. Um, because he could use another Octochorus, I believe. Um, we're both pretty much out of cards. Okay, he used a Red Medicine. Instead of another Octochorus. Ah, man. Letting this man get set up is such a problem. But he shouldn't have anything unbelievably powerful left. Um, because I've permanently spellbound uh, this Toon Alligator that is a 6,000 attack beat stick. Um, and uh, also permanently spellbound whatever this is, which also a probably plus 5,000, plus 5,000 in buffs. Actually, it's not that much, because the Servant Rotter is only 4,100. Good. Oh, hey. Um, that means that he had five monsters on the field before that. Um, Pumpkin is not how I wanted to win this duel, but... We won! <laughs> oh man, that was a much longer episode than I wanted it to be. this after I'm doing something else today. Um, well, we just kind of want, like, Grappler and stuff, so... Oh, that's a reptile. Oh, got a Crocodilus. And a tuna alligator. 
Okay. Well, um, that's gonna do it for this episode of Duelist of the Roses as tunes in air quotes. Since we don't have Tune World yet, we don't even have equips yet. Yeah, we're missing a lot of stuff. But uh, anyways, uh, thanks everybody for watching, and have a nice day.